May God deliver you today. Viewers all over the world, may God deliver you today. Shout fire on that altar. Apostle Paul was in jail. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Apostle Paul was in jail. And while he was bound, he said these words. He said, he said, you are synchronous of my grace. In the Greek, synchronous. You are synchronized in my grace. Hey! The man is arrested. He can't come out of jail. He sees people prospering outside. He writes them a letter. I know I'm bound. But while you're out there enjoying freedom, you are partaking of my grace. Ah! I don't care what you are going through. And don't worry what I'm going through. As long as you are connected to this grace, there is an answer for every problem. The answer is in Jesus, but there is a dimension of Jesus. I wish I could talk to a few people here. Signals from Zion. Hi. We were, we are born in a family. Our father, sit down. Our father would have killed us just to drink alcohol. I never took not even a sip of alcohol. Not because I was too holy, but because I would have died. My father would have been excited to see you in a coffin. And he said, yeah, I was correcting him. His favorite verse was, spare the rod, spoil the child. And the rod is made for the back's full. For a full speck. So it's like you are, you are here, you say, now, this is, oh, sorry, son. You are not a fool. But this example has to come here. Mm. So now imagine you think you, your back was created for you. And God says, if you are intelligent, the back is yours. But if you are foolish, there is something that has been created for this. Now you think God created trees for oxygen. Yeah, some of them. But some trees where you find nice rods, whips, were only created for a fool's back. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, a rod for the fool's back. Thank you. Now hear this. Hear this. Imagine all this, I never drank, never did nothing, no girlfriend. Let me give you this. My father, one of my sisters, one of my sisters, they brought the, they had a dead set to say we are coming on the 15th to pay the bridal price, the lobola. No problem. I said, no problem. His friend is the one who lives across the road who will become the middleman for negotiations. Hmm? And me and my family, we live across the road with him, with all these people, our family, and the sister who needs to be married. Mm -hmm. And his friend, we decided, and people decided, not me, I was very young at that time, they decided that my, the ones who are asking my sister's hand in marriage who live across the road, at the middleman's house. No problem. My father was just standing like this one time, came out of the house and saw my sister meeting the boyfriend in the middle of the road, grabbed a whip. <laughs> Postponed the whole thing for months. Everyone is looking. It is a township. Everyone is looking. Someone is being whooped. You are not married yet. Ah. When there is a middle, a middle man already, who is your friend? You already know they are coming tomorrow. Where do you think they met? <laughs> Cancel the whole thing. Angry. <laughs> Imagine. If you had, one day, he just took us. He was he used to drink way back, you know, before he, he became a spirit members member. He used to drink. Now watch this. 
And one day he just said, if I find that you have drunk beer, I'll kill you. And if I suspect <laughs> that it is inside you. <laughs> so you never know whether it's a suspicion. I've told you the stories of my father. He would be, he would turn, he said, push the, push the wall. You'll be pushing the wall like this with a whip on the side. He says, I got angry a hundred times. But because I'm an understanding man, I'll beat you 20. So when one goes, you go like, this man understands. He's very understanding. He, he got angry a hundred times. Now he's giving me 20. <laughs> now imagine when you grow from that location, your holiness is pushed on you. It has nothing to do with me not wanting to sin. Ha. Sin is exciting. Ha. The Bible says it. It says gossip tastes like sweet muscle. Do you know what it means? It means it's like a cake. It says it goes to the inner parts of the belly. It is tantalizing. Gossip only. It says it is very sweet. Sweet. Like into a cake. The words of a tail bearer are as wounds. That's not the one. I go down to the innermost parts of the belly. But you see, he's saying you can go down. Now, this is another one on a negative. It goes to the inner parts and corrupts you without you knowing it. But when you receive it, it is sweet. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Now hear this, hear this. I went to school. As I'm on my way to school like this, boom, I hear words from the custard depot. An African custard depot. Old African custard depot. Now is old. At that time, it was booming green. And I'm going to school with a briefcase, two slices of bread. And I decided, let me touch The African custard apple tree grabbed it like this. Unbeknown to me, all this time the signal was around the same location. Heaven was already attaching itself to that tree. But the signal was too weak. Because the way I grew up, although there was no sin, nothing. The idea was, it wasn't me who was deciding not to sin. It was fear for my, of my father. So when I grabbed... The tree, what happened was I became an extender of a signal, Ketcha. Ah. So the holy writ from ancient past began to speak and I grabbed it to a point that as I grabbed it, when I became an adult before marriage, I couldn't even marry as anything else but a virgin. No story to be heard before my wife. No story. Nothing. No one can stand there and say, I slept with this man. What protected me there? A signal when it's strong, it gets to a point where it disturbs the people that can come in and disturb that calling while it's still in its infancy. The problem is some of you have gotten the signal, but the signal was too low because you stifled it. You, you, you silenced that signal. So now... We can no longer see the calling you have. Because from that time, you could have received all the cords in one go. But now the cords you were supposed to receive when you were five, you are now receiving them at 38. So there are 33 years of wasting hearing. So when you see us move here and prophesy, it's grace that happened when we were young. Let me ask you this question. Why is it that when you were young, you could dream visions, have visions, dream dreams? And your mother used to say, this one here is from God. 13, 12, gone. Now to try to receive what you used to receive, you can't receive anymore. Why? Signals of Zion are now weak. No, it's not signals of Zion. The receiver, the receptor is now weak. Let me explain to you something. Do you realize right now here, there is football being played here. Even there, they are playing football. You just don't see it. But take a television set and put it here. And connect it and put a signal here. 
you will see Ronaldo. You will see all these people who are playing today. What has just happened? Signal was not there. But the signal for playing football is here. But because there is no catch up for that signal, it's wrong. So right now you think you're not getting married. Because nobody asks, I don't know, man of God. No one even asks me out. Signal. It's too low. What sin does, it stops the signal from booming. So everyone is okay. Everyone can give you a number. <laughs> Imagine. I want to ask you a question. What would you do if you're a man and you're married to this woman? And she comes home and she's got eight new numbers from men. This one's a... Uh, Generation Z is like, good luck. <laughs> you can't just say, it was just, it's just a number. <laughs> to every man, I'm not talking about this, but I want to tell you something. I digress. To every man, the moment I say, give me your number, and you agree, my job is 95% done. <laughs> Why were you giving me? You want prayer? 